Hey guys, today we're back with another video. And today on the channel, we're gonna be doing a torture test on the Bulletproof Zone Protect Vest L3 Level 3 Plus plates. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're gonna to be doing a torture test on the Bulletproof Zone L3 uh, Protect Vest. This has level three plus plates in it. As you can see here, manufacture date is 10-3-2022. Has a 20 year warranty period and uh, located where it was manufactured in Goldsboro, North Carolina. So pretty interesting. Uh, today, what we're gonna to be doing is a little bit different from what we do with normal torture tests. Uh, instead of doing pistol calipers, working our way up to rifles, going to be starting out with rifles first and that's all we're going to be doing. Uh, sorry if the wind is cutting in a little bit. We've got a wind sog, but I can't tell how well it will work. But we're going to be starting off with an M16A4 with two different types of rounds. Then a uh, Khalil and 762 by 39 working our way up to a 308 Winchester. So stay tuned and we will see if uh, this is truly level 3+. plus. All right, guys, we're back. First rifle of the day is going to be the M16A4 with a 20-inch barrel. We'll going to be shooting M193 55 grain, so they're going to be moving pretty quick out of this rifle. Um, also, as well, as you see here, we have the Protect Vest uh, that I actually have on right now, the L3 with the Level 3 Plus plates. The plates are approximately 7 pounds a piece, but they fit me pretty good. You can adjust it with your size. I have it pretty much as far as you can get it off because I'm a pretty big guy myself, but... Uh, it can be adjustable for all weights. I think it fits up to a 3XL type of person. So uh, pretty interesting, but let's go ahead and shoot one shot at it and see what happens. All right, guys, let's check it out. As you see here, we had a direct center head. I was aiming right for the center of the hose, some mechanical offset. We hit it right there. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what happened inside. We have to tear it off of here for a second. Okay. So, as you can see, just a little small dent. No spalling or any, anything at all, which is pretty impressive. You can see here as well, there's no cuts on any side of it. So, it caught all the spalling, so it done its job with the spall protection. So, very interesting. Let's set it back in here. And let's shoot it with a uh, 62 grain green tilt. All right, guys, here once again, 62 grain green teal. So this is a type of armor penetrator, or I guess exactly how you would say it was armor piercing round, but uh, very going to be uh, moving very fast out of this 20-inch barrel, so let's see what happens. All right, guys, we hit it right here. Let's go ahead and jerk it out of here. All right, guys, once again, right here is where we did hit this time. So pretty center shot still. We have a little bit of a bulge here, but really nothing at all. Uh, you would have felt that, but at least it didn't go through. So that's great to see. Great to see it caught the spalling as well. Here on the sides, we still have no cuts or anything on either side of the vest. So the spall protection is still doing a great job at it. We're gonna go ahead and put this back in here and let's bump it up to a 762 by 39 Galil. All right, guys, now we have the 762 by 39 FMJ rounds out of the 16 inch Glil Ace Gen 2. Let's go ahead and see what happens. See a little puff of smoke come out of that one. Let's check it out. All right, guys, let's see where we hit. Uh, to be honest with you, I can't tell right from looking at it here. I don't see a hole. Uh, so I'm guessing it's somewhere in here in, in the fur. It did though, on the side here, we'll pull it around here so you can see. It did come out the side here a tad bit, and we do see some metal flakings here where I guess it's just turned into dust, but it has cut the side of the uh, bulletproof uh, jacket a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, that spalling protector is now starting to shed off there. It is still on it though. Looks like we hit it down to the left a tad bit. I'm guessing right there is where we actually hit it at. So that's why I'm guessing we where we hit it at angle and it's curved, it blew out the side. But still, as you can see here, if 
you got your arms up aiming at somebody and it shot and it blew it over to the right hand side you would still probably not get any shrapnel in you so that's good to know but here on the back uh actually no bulge so that uh, green tip actually done more of a bulge than that one right there did that one whenever it hit it pretty much from what i can tell just straight up disintegrated because there's still uh as you can see down in here shards of uh that jacket that was left in this one so let's go ahead and put it back in here and step it on up to 308 winchester all right guys we'll be using 168 grain full metal jacket 308 winchester out of the 16 inch arrow precision and every one of these shots as well is at 20 yards so we're we're bad close all right let's walk up here and see what happened all right guys let's check it out we hit it down here that's the only hole that i can find and that's where i believe it will be at we have shrapnel here that it exited on the right hand side because these are new cuts we also have shrapnel that exited through the top and we also have shrapnel new shrapnel that uh exited out the side as well down here and I, some of that might have been old but uh there was shrapnel that exited out of that one let's go ahead and get this open though Yeah, right there was the hole for the 308. And we have a very big dimple, but it did not go through it. This entire front is now gone. So we can look and see what all the rounds did do. Once again, that was the full, uh, that one right there was probably, well, that was the 762 by 39 for sure. That's the 308. And I believe that one right there was a the green tip and that one was the normal one. But as you can see here, pretty decent sized crater, but did not go through this there's a big hole here or not hole but a dimple here as well but it didn't go through so in turn uh it passed everything that we threw at it what it was actually rated for for the test so good job for that uh the only thing that i seen is that that spall protection did come off of it after about the uh second shot of the uh, uh 556 which is fine i understand uh, but plus two though um uh, that's the only bad thing about it is that whenever it does hit right, right there was where it would go up through your neck so i understand that's not that good but at the same time though it did stop that round and that's what we was looking for for it to do and that's exactly what it done so uh, i'm here to say that yes it will stop uh up to the 308 what you was actually supposed to throw at it so it is technically speaking level three plus but guys i appreciate y'all viewing as always once again a special thank you to bulletproof zone for sending us these target or this uh a bulletproof vest uh, to torture test and to show you all what it will do and like i said i love this carrier and as well uh, also if you wanted to cut down a little bit on that spalling something that you could do is also buy them uh, kevlar inserts that you can put on top of that plate and it will actually help you out a lot with that spalling i about for certain they would cut spalling down to minimum to none at all but uh, that's just something else that i would do if i'm actually wearing steel plates and want to make sure that there's no spalling that ever gets out Guys, once again, special thank you to Bulletproof Zone for sending us these uh, ballistic inserts to shoot and torture tests. And a very special thank you to you all for viewing today. So once again, like and subscribe for more gun reviews, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>